I think I'm running with the right version. Well, I can't keep this hand. And I have to keep this hand. It's okay. Uh, would be nice if this was a sweeps week. I can just score a breaking news off the bat if I want to get ballsy, but I really want to protect R&D. Also, if he steals both, both breaking news, I don't really actually care very much. Oh, this is stupid noise. Uh, switch sound effects on, off. No, I don't want game. Switch, it says switch on. Switch off. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna do Caduceus. Well, the sound effects are still on. Caduceus on R and D. Marked accounts. And I'll put money on it. And I'll say go. If he wants to run the crap out of my hands right now, not a big deal. If he steals some breaking news, I'm not terribly disappointed about that. I mean, I'm just hoping he doesn't run account siphons into me. Like, account siphon, roof, crap, roof tag, and roof tag, kill marked accounts would be pretty bad. Ugh. So not only is my sound running into issues, but can I just mute all of... No, I'm just going to mute my computer. That'll make it easier. Uh, yeah, you can have HQ. There's a data sucker, so he's probably got Atmans. Maybe he has Atmans. Sees uh, marked accounts. Can't trash it. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I think I might just send out, like, a naked breaking news or two. That would be fine. Actually, I'm gonna go click-click. Toll booth on HQ. Because it's there. Now that I have Astro Script in my hand, it's a little more important to be able to actually protect it. He's got a link. That's annoying. It's very annoying. Discards of pro contacts. And a Beal. So I'm going to draw a card. Perfect. Another agenda. Alright, I'm going to install. And I will install. Maybe he won't run it. Maybe he'll be afraid of Bernice. Or he just won't want to waste any time. Sure gamble. Okay, fine. So now I do indeed get to kill the, uh... Kill the pro contacts. Discarding Diesel. Uh, I, you might regret that one. I maybe even want to wait on this breaking news. Because I can't protect my hand. If he just runs my hand, like, immediately next turn, I'm, a little bit of, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm in a ton of trouble. Whatever. This is, this is phenomenally unlucky. I mean, what am I going to do about it? If he runs my hand four times, I lose the game. 100%. Five agendas in hand. I've drawn six out of my 11 agendas in the first however many cards. He sees another marked account, which I'm obviously going to put money on next turn if he doesn't trash. I should have maybe just, like, ran the Astra out. Maybe it was the time. 
And he does trash mark the count. And now he's up to three link. Really bad news. So now my uh, my Caduceus is going to cost him a mere two to get through, and that's even if, that's if he doesn't want to let me gain money. If he if he actually cares about give, giving me money, doesn't give me, if he doesn't care about giving me money, it's free. I'm just gonna res it since he can't afford to trash it. Why not? Another agenda! <clears throat> Alright, so what do I do? I can just score this. I'm actually just going to discard this character as Ashton This is really phenomenal. I've never been this unlucky. <laughs> seven agendas out of... <clears throat> seven agendas out of how many cards? Certainly a lot. Or not very many. I've seen one, two, three, four, five. So I've drawn twelve cards and seven are agendas. Incredible. And he gets a free one right now. Literally no pressure on my centrals right now. But literally, like, 90% of my ice is terrible. I guess I have a lot of Eli's. But that's about it. How about another agenda? I wonder what he's trying to do with this deck, exactly. I'm gonna just let him in, because... He's, like, basically got free reign on Data Sucker tokens. Anyway, with the Archives, and me being so light on ice that does anything anymore. Draco, Caduceus, and Viper are basically all dead, is the issue. So I'm just going to let him in here, since there's only four agendas left in my... He's got a 1 in 9 chance, like... And if I draw... If there is an agenda on top and I do keep him out, he's basically got free reign on it anyway. Maybe I should have tried for the Astro last turn. My opponent's telling me to trace. Yeah, I mean, like, if there's another agenda <clears throat> on the top of my deck, me keeping him out is not even that big of a deal. He's gonna get it. <laughs> like, I'm not, unless I, unless I, like, run the bluffs and then I still have five left in my hand. Thankfully, Tollbooth is a giant pain to kill, but if he has a, if he has a Parasite... That'll do it. At five data sucker tokens. How about you click for one more and then you run HQ now? Alright. Fine. Oh, sweet, sweet. I'm gonna draw.
So Jackson Howard could maybe help. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna parasite my Caduceus? Awesome. Yes, he is gonna parasite my Caduceus. I'm so glad he's not parasiting this pop-up window. I mean this uh, toll booth rather. I, mean, I can let him into the R&D for the rest of the game. What is he doing? Modding in an RDI? That's fine. And you're in. Good luck. Have fun. No, I need is a sand sand and more ice for HQ. Something. Maybe I should just like try for an abil on this Bernice. If he steals it, whatever. I'm filthy rich. I can at the very least kill his underworld contact. This is like a pretty interesting build, actually. The Parasite K deck. They were already like needing to play something for memory. And, like, you could splash for Grimmer, and that'd be pretty good. But if you're doing this, like, to begin with, it's all whatever. Um, I'm actually going to Jackson in some stuff. Like, uh, how about Caduceus, Hedge Fund, Sweep Sweep, and so on. So he's still looking at not very many agendas in there. Maybe four. So I could still somehow win this game, despite everything going wrong. And there's an Ash, that will definitely help me win this game. All right, a sand sand. So now, I, I mean, he, if he can, if he just runs on my hand, kills the toll booth, I mean, basically, I don't know, he would have to sort of screw this one up to lose. <laughs> if he just runs on my hand, as always, he'll have me.
increase his strength by zero. Since he can't afford it. Oh, he can. He would have to pay... Alright, so he's got Trace Strength, he's got Link Strength 3, so if I make this 6, he still can't afford it. And he can't afford to trash either. He can't afford to trash either. You can click for a credit, run, kill Ash, then run again. I'll take a million tags. We'll see if he's at all afraid about that. Um, I'll res this. Since he doesn't have three, it's going to end the run. But he still has the opportunity to install. He could click for a credit and run again. Then he could kill it. In which case... I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, he's a little all over the place, this game. Maybe he'll just remove the tag out of fear. And then click for a credit. Alright, so now I need to make this tray 7. And then I'll just leave Bernice at 5. If he wants to pay 2 to trash her, good. Nice, a hedge fund. Okay, that's good. Good, good shape. Uh, I mean, not really good shape, but better shape. If he, like, yeah, if he doesn't trash the Sand Sand, and he doesn't win the game, I'll be good. On one of the worst hands I've seen in a long time. No agendas? Oh yeah, so you'd actually need five to uh, get into the sand, uh, get into HQ, because you would need to lose three, and then you would need to pay, well, you need four, you need one to install Parasite, and he's losing the tag. Awesome. So somehow I squeaked this one out. Incredible. An incredible pullout. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man, so... A little bit lucky, 
I mean, very unlucky, but a little bit lucky at my opponent's play, not figuring out. Uh, but, I mean, and also not trashing Sansan. I think that's a big mistake. Uh, if he runs on the Ash server... After I discard an agenda, I think... Hates the hand because it's unreliable. Mm. Anyway, a crazy game. Wanna do another. Alright, so let's see if I can win. Let's see if I can do something with a better hand. <laughs> <clears throat> That was a little bit ridiculous. Maybe I'll do better this time. The opening hand wasn't terrible, but... Boy, did it go downhill. Am I playing 15 agendas in my deck? No, I'm not. This hand's awesome. Um, Alright, so now I think I can actually just ignore HQ for a sec. Uh, I could try and lock him out of data sucker counters. He's probably playing a worm. Uh, thankfully, uh, even though he's playing all of this link strength, I have uh, three ice in my hand that don't run traces. And uh, so far, no link. And, uh, I get him on the, uh, Bernice. We'll see if he wants to trash it or not. He does. So, Bernice showing, uh, her general amazingness. Usually costing the runner two clicks and five credits, which is amazing, I mean, I don't know how you hate on that. Um, and I'll install Jackson, I guess. Just the classic, uh, annoying tons of remote servers, like, you have to go look at them. You know that I've thrown out, you know, all of these naked agendas at any time I could be doing it. And, uh, okay, so he does install his mem chip and his contact. So pretty good for him. And draws a card, ignoring, ignoring both of my remotes. All right, so there's a deal. So now I'm going to Jackson up. Ice HQ probably, and then put money on market accounts. Yeah, looking fine. Place Forge Activation Orders on my Eli, and I will activate that order. You got it. That's an interesting choice for the Parasite deck, because a lot of the times you're afraid to run on ice, but since it's un unrezzed, you have a problem getting a Parasite on it. Um, right now, he's running with no programs in play, so there's not too many scary things that could really happen. Like... Maybe the worst thing is Caduceus or Draco, even though he has two link strengths. So, I mean, he still has to fight against my, my two recurring credits. So one trace of turn is maybe reasonable, but 
boy, is it a pain in the ass to get get traces through when when you're running like that. All right, so he's just running on HQ. Deals the BL no big. Everything else is, is blank. See in another bastion. Okay, fine. <coughs> There's a breaking news, so I'm going to draw up a little bit with Jackson Howard, I think. And then I'm probably going to install two things. Yeah. Like a Sand Sand with a Bernice on it. Um, seems pretty good. So my deck is functioning a lot better this game than it did last game. Parasite that Eli. Modding out of Parasite. Really? It's an interesting modded for like one, one and a half credit. Error on fine target. Uh-oh. Oh, he's not. Okay. Alright, so he's playing RDI. That's fine. Draw that card. Fair enough. So I'll probably be installing a Bastion on RD now. Just to make it take a little longer. And I will. I guess I'll put money on market accounts it's a little better than cooking for a credit now. You could like click 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 for credits, run market accounts and kill it. Wouldn't be a bad turn. There's another mem chip. So I'll be on 8 money for this turn. Not quite enough to blow up his contact. But, definitely enough for that. Unfortunately, I don't think I really want to. I think I'm just going to discard one of these deals and say go. Thank God for very little trace ice in these games. Uh, data sucker and run archives, I guess. I'll shuffle in both of them. Might want to ice up archives here. Another Astro script. I can score that and still uh, res a bastion, so I will. And I do have like the full win in my hand, even if he comes to trash Sansan.
If he just runs on RNG to click through, I'm not going to res that bastard. Keeping things expensive. That's the important thing. And since I have this like full win in my hand, no reason to worry about sand sand. Um, let's see if he wants to trash the Bernice. Nope, he's just gonna parasite my Eli, I guess. Oh, he forgot the target. Probably he's gonna have to return test run. Yeah, he will. Alright. Run the try again. So I think my opponent is under face checking me. The Parasite deck, I think, functions a little better when you know what all the ice is. And he draws a card. Um, okay, so... One of the money reasons why Test Run isn't particularly good. <laughs> Things go back on top. Now I can just run away with this game for the most part. I think next turn I'm actually going to score the breaking news. Because if it's stolen, I'm actually out of options. It also would allow me, um, well both both ways I guess I would be allowed to res uh, Bastion. But this way, since I have two agendas in my hand that can score off Astro to win the game, but only one that can be fast advanced straight up without the, with the Astro strip token, the um he's modding out another mem chip. Okay. Fair. That's a lot of link. Not gonna not gonna lie. But Link is not gonna do it today. Not just Link. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I should do that. Money on marked accounts, money on marked accounts. Blow up, uh... Blow up this contact. Streaming. Oh, um, I guess I forgot to take him off. I'll discard this, because it's trashable. taking the turn to clear the tag. I could have alternatively played Sweet Sweet instead of putting money on one of these marked accounts, but it does a good job of protecting my hand.
this is this is why MBN is just so filthy. You can you can easily win games without ever putting an agenda out. Um, you can fast advance the entire win, unlike HB, which has a little bit of trouble with that. Bastion ends the run. He's gonna parasite it, but I will have enough money after these marked accounts triggers to just fast advance the deal for the win. And that'll do it. Get another one against the uh, the filthy parasite recursion with a million link strength. Uh, the parasite deck. The parasite deck. I mean, that might be a reasonable option for economy, underworld contacts, the mem chips, but it it's it doesn't really pay for itself for a while. And though the link strength is helpful. It still stinks to get tagged, so I mean you have better options against I guess sh you have better better game against Shadow, Draco, and Caduceus uh, versus NBN. But I think you might be better off just playing the usual um, Akamatsu Memchip. Like it saves you too money. Like between after you play the Underworld Contact and the Dyson Memchip, yeah, you have one more link. But you paid five for the extra memory instead of instead of or four instead of zero or five instead of one, so your four credits and a click down versus just installing a mem chip and you have to use an extra card. Um, so it takes and it takes you five, so it's gonna take you like five or six turns to actually build up the economy past what you would just would have been doing. Um, so I think it's probable that you're better off with just Katie Jones and Daily Casts, just the regular resources. Um, Pro Contacts, I think, is pretty good in that deck because you need to dig through a lot to find enough parasites to blow up all the ice because that's generally your only plan. Um, 